Hey everybody, I'm Robin. And I'm Miko. And we're Wonder, Wonder Open, Open Roads. Roads. Hey, thanks for joining us. We are on our first cruise of the year. 2023. Yeah. Starting it out with a cruise. That's right. So uh, you're going to be cruising with us. So uh, enjoy this video and uh, let's, let's start having some fun. So we are sailing on Royal Caribbean's Grandeur of the Seas, which is uh, one of Royal Caribbean's smaller ships. Um, it only has about 2,400 guests and 760 crew members. Um, it was updated in 2017, uh, doing a revamp, updating the, the ship's cabins and offering some new dining options. Um, but overall, it's probably best suited more for adults. It has a, a big casino, bars, lounges, and, and places like that all, all throughout. Um, I really liked the ship. What? Yeah, I mean, there's some advantages to being on a smaller ship. I mean, one, it doesn't take you that long to get from one end to the other or to go from one show to another activity. So that was, I mean, to me, that was a big plus. Yeah, it really was. I mean, you know, first of all, it, it didn't take you very long to figure out the layout of the ship. I mean, really, by the end of the first day, you pretty much knew where everything was. And yeah, it was very easy to get you know, from one event to the next and, you know, to move around the ship. And also just, you know, being kind of in the, in the, in the COVID era. I mean, this was our first trip, our first cruise since 2019. Um, so feeling very comfortable with COVID, just not having as many people, you know, and, and the ship really wasn't even very crowded. So no, I mean, yeah. there definitely was not a lot of people on the ship, which made it easy to, you know, kind of social distance a little. Um, we, especially like when we were in the theater, you know, we really didn't have people sitting right next to us. There was some space. Right. And, you know, just in the dining, like our dining table was only half full. Um, so just not having a lot of people on the ship also made it easier to navigate on the ship as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, there weren't long lines for the shows or really for food or anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And another advantage of the ship being smaller is that you kind of see the same people over and over. So you yeah. actually get to start to get to know people and yeah. have conversations because you're, you're seeing them like every day. You're right. seeing them, you right. know, at the ports and, you know, different events and on the excursions. So, I mean, I feel like we had more personal connection with other people on the ship. Yeah. Yeah, we really did. Yeah, you're right. That's that. Yeah, that's. That's kind of funny. Yeah, we kept on seeing like our the people we ate dinner with and just different people we would see them everywhere. So yeah, yeah that, man, that people cool. were noticing us. I'm like, hey, yeah, I remember seeing you last night, and you know, oh yeah, how was that excursion? Blah blah blah. Oh yeah, we met on the beach. So yeah, yeah. So that so that that was definitely cool. So yeah, even though you know the grandeur of the seas may not get as high reviews as some of the other newer fancier royal caribbean ships i mean i would definitely sail on the ship again i enjoyed it yeah i mean if you're looking for a lot of activities for the kids and this is not necessarily the ship for you yeah that's true okay so this is our first cruise since 2019 so this is the the first i guess covid cruise or whatever and i must say that the the safety briefing and you know where everybody has to put your life jackets on and go to your muster station and wait for the whistle all that's gone now you watch a video on your phone then you come to the station they scan your barcode and you're checked in that's it super easy love it So since we really enjoy uh, going to the shows that they have on the different cruises, uh, we went to check out the theater. The Palladium Theater is the uh, main theater for the ship, and uh, we saw a lot of good shows here, definitely. The quest to find our room. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, we could somewhere in here. We're getting close. Getting close. All right, room keys right at the door. So we decided to book an interior cabin on this trip. Um, we've had different types of cabins with windows and balconies and all that stuff, but uh, you know, 
pound for pound, the interior cabins do us quite well because we don't spend any time in the room. We like to go out and do stuff. So, uh, hey, it works. All right, let's check out the bathroom. Definitely wet, wet bath vibes. <laughs> <laughs> And this is the Great Gatsby, our dining hall. Obviously it's empty right now. We're just getting a preview and gonna find our table. Hello. Hello. So we are in the adult area, and so here you can get pizza, burgers. They all have, they also have a salad bar. A little bit of ham. There's an adult swimming pool. And lounge area. And again, this is the adults only area. A little bit of a song, okay? Even while it's playing the second you know what song it is, shout it out. The first person to shout out the correct answer is the winner. So, uh, our first destination on this cruise was to Key West, so we didn't have to go far for that from Miami. Uh, we've been to Key West several times. Um, it's always a fun day, you know, you, there are plenty of excursions and things you can do in Key West. Uh, we just decided to walk around. There is a, a, a place called the Key Lime Shop that we like to go visit, which is pretty cool. And also, uh, amazingly, we had never been to the lighthouse in Key West, so we decided to go check those uh, two things out on our day in Key West. Now we decided to walk just to get some exercise, but there is a free trolley in Key West that will take you around to all of uh, the neat spots, so definitely check that out.
Although we did not go, uh, the Hemingway House is definitely one of the big attractions on the island, of course, for the famous author Ernest Hemingway, who wrote a lot of his books there. So um, maybe something to check out next time. We have two stands. We have the lighthouse, our Key West lighthouse, and the San Key lighthouse, which is out on the ocean. Very nice. You'll see it when you go up. It's okay. seven miles out. Okay. You may have seen it when you come. You came in on the ship, but when you leave, you'll really be able to see it. Okay. Great. Beautiful. Very nice. Thank you. Hey, it's Miko from Wander Open Roads. Howdy. <laughs> so, uh, where are you right now? We are at the Key West Lighthouse. Yeah. About to climb the stairs. There's 88 stairs to the top. So, relatively short when you think about the height of all the other lighthouses in the U.S. that we've been to. So, we're excited to make the hike up. Let's go. Now, there are a couple of these uh, different stores in Key West. Um, 
just on like in the next street over i think there was another one actually but they have everything key lime key lime lotion key lime soap they have ice cream they have key lime pie which is what we were interested in so definitely a nice place to um to check out you know the birthplace of key lime is key west so there you go What you got there? Key lime pie from the key lime shop in Key West. Oh yeah. So we can't play it into the songs because of copyrights, but this was a finish that song lyric contest that I was in and I actually got down to the final three and won a Royal Caribbean hat. Cool stuff. And then of course we had to do some karaoke. And of course, there's just about always somebody singing at the piano. Uh, this guy was doing Elton John songs all night. It was a big hit. And then you got to go check out the DJ and, uh, you know, see what he's all about. And uh, yeah, we definitely had a good time uh, dancing the night away on the cruise. No doubt. Days at sea are lots of times my favorite because, you know, you just get to grab a book and lounge around or go to the pool or, uh, you know, maybe watch some movie that you downloaded on your iPad. Just hang out. Here we went to the uh, adults lounge pool area and just uh, hung out and enjoyed ourselves. And yes, in case you were wondering, it uh, this cruise was in January, actually the first like full week of January, and it was in the 70s and 80s. It was great pool weather, shorts, t-shirts, you know, awesome weather. So you know, if you're thinking about taking a cruise uh, that time of year, don't be afraid. Go ahead and do it. You can do all your pool activities and everything you want. So these are some clips from some of the shows and entertainment. Of course, we could not play the audio because of copyright. Um, just to mention, there was another uh, stop that we made on this cruise to Labadee, which is uh, Royal Caribbean's private island. And it was actually so awesome, we decided to make a, a separate video on that. So watch out for it. We're gonna count to down three, two, one, then you jump, okay? With the belly first. Is that swimming suit well secured, Jennifer? We're gonna find out. Let's see! In three! Flop! Not bad, not bad, 
So all in all, we had a great time on Royal Caribbean's Grandeur of the Seas. We would definitely sail on that ship again and to the same destination. So had a great time and um, hopefully y'all will check it out. Hey, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Be sure to check out our selection of travel apparel at shopredsquare.com and our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description. Thank you.